Hello, I've got a bit of a haul for you today. I've been to York shopping with Emily. All our links and things will be below. And um, we had fun. I might have spent quite a bit of money, but that means no more spending for the rest of the month now because I've spent up. But first of all, Emily brought me my Christmas present, which was a philosophy gift set, um, which featured makeup. She has done a video on it, so I'll put that in the down bar as well. But I'll show you the products. Start off with is the Cream Foundation, which looks like this. This is in the shade Light, so I don't know whether or not this will be any good for me. It might be a little too dark, but apparently it goes to like a powder, so it's quite easy to blend out, so I'll give that a whirl. Next up I have the blusher, which is the bronzer blusher, sort of thing. Oh. There you go, and as you can see, there's like a moon in the middle of the blusher, which is the bronzer. And I think that looks really cute, so you can just swirl it together to pop it on your face. And then we have the highlighter, which is also really pretty. There you go, that's the highlighter. It's quite a golden colour and I really like that. It creates a really nice shimmer, so I'm looking forward to using that. Now, before I even got to York, I had been to Asda and I picked up a couple of books. I'll show you those first before I actually show you my York haul. So first up we have Divergent by Veronica Roth. Now, I've heard a lot about this and I was unsure about whether or not I actually wanted to read it and I'm still unsure about it. But it was £3.50 in Asda, which is the cheapest I've seen because that's cheaper than the Kindle book as well. So I thought to get the paper copy and, you know, it'd be cheaper than the Kindle book, I thought it's worth giving it a try for that. And then I also picked up House of Secrets. Now, I'm not quite sure what this is about. There's part, it's mentioned this part, so I'll, just, I'll give it a whirl and then probably do a review on it or something. I'll let you know how it is. So, the first stop for me and Emily was MAC, and they had released the new Fantasy of Flowers collection. Now, there's actually two collections one's pink and one's green, and I got a piece from both collections. So I'll start off with the piece I got from the green collection, which is a lipstick in Dreaming Dahlia. This is what it looks like, it's quite a nice sheer red. I'll just swatch it for you. There you go, can you see that here? I think it'll make a really nice shade of red to wear on a daily basis when you're not wanting to be too bold. And then from the pink collection I picked up the blush in Petal Power, which is this gorgeous colour. And that also has quite a gold sheen to it, but it's absolutely beautiful. And um, the lady on the MAC counter was also wearing it today. So that was really lovely. And I cannot wait to wear that as well. So then I went to Boots, because obviously we went to Boots. I mean, we'd be a bad boy because if we didn't go to Boots. So I'll start off with the one hair product I picked up and that was the Built Speed Up Removal Shampoo. Now I really like this because it gives my hair sort of a deep cleanse. And if you find that your hair gets oily really quickly it's worth giving a go. Because it just removes any extra build up from pro products that's accidentally been left in your hair by your other shampoos. But it's really good and it's £3.49 so it's worth trying. And then I picked up a new moisturiser. So I picked one up by Botanics, which is the Mattifying Day Cream. Now I have one of the Botanics night creams, which I really like, so I thought I'd give the moisturiser a go. And it was £4.99 on the 3 for 2 So it actually came free, so it makes it even better. So next up from Soap and Glory, I have the Youthful Face Serum. I've never used a serum before. But I thought it was probably about time I added one to my skincare routine. So this is what it looks like in the packet. It's quite swish and mirrored, which means you probably can't see it very well and you're probably getting a glimpse of the mess behind the camera. And it's just my bedside table, by the way, not like tons of mess. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to give it a pump onto my hand. I 
as you can see there, it's just a white serum. And we've rubbed it in. So yeah, I think that'll be quite nice to use. I'm not sure, but I think it's probably about time I add one to my skincare routine. Then the last skincare product is the Peaches and Clean Cleanser from Soap and Glory. Emily recommended this to me. She said she uses it and she swears by it and that she's had amazing skin since she started using it. So I thought, why not add another cleanser to my collection? Because having four isn't enough, apparently. We will have more. And I'll be honest, if someone's... Me and Emily were such enablers. It's like, oh, I can't find that. Do it, get it, buy it, you need it. In reality, neither of us needs any of the stuff we bought. But we had fun and that's what counts. So now we're on to the makeup things I bought in boots. First off, we'll start with these new L'Oreal things. I don't even know what they're called. Right, these new L'Oreal lip products. They're sort of like the glam stains, but not. They're more like the ones from YSL. You know, the Volupte Rouge or whatever they're called. You know what I mean, don't you guys? I'll put them in the description bar of what the L'Oreal, not no, the YSL ones are called. Now, I don't have a YSL, so I'm only assuming that that's what they're like. So this is what it looks like. This is obviously orange, and it's the shade 2 or 4. And here you've got a little sort of dove foot applicator. And then I'll swatch it um, here. You can see it's quite bold but it's glossy. So that's one of them. I did buy three, so we've got the orange shade. I also got a red one. Oh, they've got names. So the orange one is called Tangerine Sonnet. This red one I've got in my hand is Ruby Opera. If I could get into it, that'd be great. You have no rush, I'm only want to swatch it. Honestly, I wish they'd stop putting cellar tape on everything. Put a proper labelly thing on, that's easy to peel, please. Because when I get home, I just want to get into my products, don't you? Then you're breaking my nails. Oh. And now we've missed completely the other half of the... Oh, we're almost there. Boom. So this is Ruby Opera. And it's red. And this is what it looks like. Oh, it's quite a nice deep red. A bit vampy, I guess you'd say, maybe. I don't know. And then last, but by no means least, is the shade Rose Symphony. So Rose Symphony is number 201. And it's slightly, cor it's slightly corally, if you can see. But they're all really little. These are £8.99 each. They're a little pricey, but I think they're going to be worth it. They look really nice anyway. Then next up I have the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Dark Brown. Now I don't know if this is just the boots I was in, but everything seems to be selling to shut. Is this a thing? Now where it's lit like lit actual sellotape, I don't know. Can someone tell me if this is a thing that supermarket that places now just get a roll of sellotape out and sellotape it up? Because to be honest, I'd prefer proper labels to stick them together. Just, just saying. Let's have a look at this now. So there you go. This is what the brow drama looks like. I'll even swatch it for you, shall I? I tried to think what this would look like. Well, that would be really useful, wouldn't it? So that's what shade it is. It's hideous. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with this, but I will let you know. So let's be honest, that's what I better do. Oh my god. 
Next up I had the Natural Collection Blush from Peach Melba. Another recommendation from Emily, she was like, so she swears by it. It's an amazing colour, therefore I had to buy it. But everything on natural on our natural collection is like two quid, so you know. Not expensive. So this is what it looks like. Let's swatch it for you. There you go, if you can see it, that's Peach Melba for you. It's quite a nice shade, isn't it? And Emily swears by it, so it must be good. Then last, but by no means least, is the 17 Four pen, which is their concealer that's a bit like, apparently, it's a bit like a race paste by Benefit. Now I've got, oh, I'm saying it. So you've got, this is an actual sticker on the side of it here, but they also sell the tape it down. So if someone could explain this to me, I'd appreciate it. Because now I still can't get into the bloody thing. Sorted. We're in. My bed's covered in sticky stuff, so that'll be fun later. So the four pin, this is in the shade Fair, and obviously it's an it's a heavy duty under eye concealer because it's got a peach tone, it's quite good at cancelling out dark circles. So I'll show you the shade of that on me as well. You can see that probably not. So this is it just there. And I think it looks so it'd be a really good colour for me. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. So anyway, that's my York haul. And as you can tell, I did spend a fortune. But like I said, it means I can't spend any more for the rest of the month. And to be honest, I have not seen Emily since September. And it was so much fun and so lovely to see her. That spending the money was well worth it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye!